Okay, we've had a few um, calls from the field uh, related to these middle school microscopes of ours. And um, they're great microscopes. As you can see, I have the light turned on here. You can turn the light on and off in the back. And we went over that in professional development. And we learned how to focus and change the objectives and all that. Uh, however, some of the schools are calling in saying that even though the light's on and they have their objective in place, that none of the light is actually coming through and entering the tube, and so they're actually seeing nothing up here through the eyepieces. And if that happens, there's a couple things that it could be. Number one, and the most typical, is that you don't have your objective perfectly in place. So that if it's not clicked in, let's see if you can hear it click. Okay, I hope you can hear that. But more than hearing it click, you can actually feel it click into place. Okay, if it's not clicked into place, then there is no light coming in through, and you will see nothing but darkness through the eyepieces. But let's say you've checked that, and you still see that there's a light on down here, but you're not getting any light through the eyepieces. Then the next thing to do, and this is something we didn't really go over in detail in the um, professional development, is underneath, and I'm going to turn a light on so you can see better, Underneath, you have what's called a substage condenser. And there's two things that could be wrong here. One, at the very bottom, you'll see that there's a ring that can slip back and forth here. You see how that's going like this? And that's if we wanted to put a filter in there. Well, when it's all the way in the in position or all the way in the out position, the light can pass through and get to our eyes. However, as you can see, it's thick enough that if you leave it halfway like that, that's going to block the light. It'll block it almost completely. So that's one thing. Either have it all the way in, which is what I would suggest, or pull it all the way out. Okay, so I'm going to put it all the way in, so I know I'm okay there. Now the other thing is, is you have this iris diaphragm here, and this is sort of a lever, usually on the left that you can adjust like this. Do you see how that slides back and forth? And in one position, it's completely closed. If I push it in the other position, it will be completely open. So make sure that this lever is completely open. Okay? So you have the two things. You have this filter rack. You need it to be all the way in. Definitely not like that. So you want that all the way closed like that, so you can actually see where the light's going to go through. And then you want this iris diaphragm right here. You want that turned so it's either all the way open. So I think this is in a closed position. But as you do that, look through the eyepieces, and I think that you'll see that uh, you can take care of it. That's if you have your light, if the light is on, and you still are getting darkness. So if you've checked all that, and you still aren't getting your light, then I think you should call uh, Lab Learner and we'll see what the problem is.